Hi guys, back to Paul here. Hope you're all safe and well. So just another kit review for you today and this is the Scorpion XO 1400 Air Carbon Helmet. So this is a replacement for my Shoei NXR which I've had for about three years. I've also got a video review of that on my channel so if you want to check it out as a comparison then have a look at my channel and you'll see the video there. The Shoei was getting a bit long in the tooth, the chin strap was frayed on that one and it seen better days. Um, so I was looking at alternatives and this one came up as a really good value alternative with a lot of features which we'll go through shortly. So this is £248.98, that's the price at the moment on the Sports Bike Shop website where I purchased it from. I'm not endorsed or sponsored by them, I just bought this out of my own money. I just use them because it's free delivery, good returns and they're generally good with pricing but um, like I say there's no promotion involved and um, they didn't send me this or anything like that, I just bought it with my own money. It's got a good rating on their site though, so it's got an overall 5 star review. They've had 207 reviews at the time of this video. And uh, yeah, we'll go over the features. So as you can see, it's a carbon helmet. It looks fantastic. I don't think the images do it justice on their website. It really does look good in the flesh. It, they state it incorporates a thermodynamic composite technology. I think that's the structure of the helmet. I'm not going to say I understand that because I don't. Um, a lot of manufacturers will use phrases and jargon when it comes to the structure and composition of the materials that make up a helmet. That's just what Scorpion state for this particular one. It does mean though with it being carbon that obviously it's lightweight um, as well as looking great. In terms of features then, one aspect to this that's quite unique is it's got what's called an air fit system, which means there's an internal pump round about where the chin bar is on the inside of the helmet, I'll show you that shortly, where it allows you to inflate the cheek pads and you get a really kind of precise fit. It sounds a bit gimmicky, but it isn't. Uh, it really does work. And this particular one is a large size helmet. They do three sizes and it fits great. I use the sizing guide and check the reviews out. But using that air fit system, you can really get it kind of precise and dial in like a precise snug fitment. And so I actually think that's a feature that a lot of manufacturers should be looking at because so far I think it's really good and, and it enables you to, to kind of get more of a, a precision fit than just having those three separate shell sizes. Obviously you normally have like, you know, small, medium, large or whatever. That one really kind of makes it tailor fit almost. You've then got a sun uh, visor, so you've got an internal drop down sun visor and that's operated by this lever here. I'm not a fan of this lever, it's a weird placement, it's kind of behind this visor so it's hard to find when you're on the bike, you're kind of fumbling around trying to find it. Plus by default it's in a down position, to get the visor to drop down you have to move it backwards um, and it's quite a stiff mechanism so that could be better. I've had AGV helmets in the past where that normally I think the mechanism's around there and it's a bit smoother but it does have the sun visor so at least it's included, it's just a bit of a shame that that is not better thought out. Um, it does have a pin lock visor included or pin lock insert. So if you're not familiar with that, it's basically a kind of film, a layer uh, that fits within the visor. You just do it yourself. It comes in the box and it fits in between these two points on either side of the visor. Dead easy to fit and it just stops the visor misting up. So in cold weather, in winter, where your vision can be impaired because the visor is misting up, that pin lock pretty much eliminates it completely. I love the pin lock visors. If it didn't come with that in the box, I would definitely be buying one anyway. So for me, they're a bit of an essential. So it's great it includes it. It's got a D-ring fastener. Um, as well as the pin lock, you also get a dark smoke visor, which is a race visor included. And we'll have a look at that shortly. So again, saving your money if you want to take it on a track, you get the race visor as well. It's got um, a couple of vents. You've got this top one that moves in different stages and one underneath the visor here. The Shoei has more vents. We'll give a comparison uh, to that in a bit more detail shortly. But they work fine. No problems there. The visor lifts up from the central point so it's not offset like most visors. It's, it's that central point there. And yeah, overall the design and the features of it are fantastic. And I think in comparison to the Shoei, there's a lot of similarities. The Shoei has more vents, but in terms of weight and wind noise, they're about the same. Neither helmet is particularly quiet, but I think, you know, again, based on value, there's quite a saving to be had between this and the Shoei. Um, so I'm very impressed, but we'll go over it in a bit more detail now. 
Okay, so here's the airfit system uh, that I mentioned. Just a closer look. So it's on the inside of the helmet towards the bottom of the uh, chin bar or chin guard area. And you just basically press that the more you press it, the more inflation you get. Just like that. And then this silver button here, that deflates it. There we go. Uh, so dead easy to use. I only press it a couple of times just to make it a little bit more snug fitting. Um, but it's got quite a range, so yeah, you can certainly get a good fit with that um, you've got this kind of chin curtain here if you can see i'm just pulling that down to get access to to the button there but that is easy to use once the helmet's in place as well so um both of those dead easy to get access to they've got the interior here it's all um, removable machine washable as you'd probably expect and you've got the d-ring fastener there normal traditional fastener uh, we've got the emergency release so quick release system for emergency services if they needed to remove this you know in an unfortunate event or a crash basically could get that off nice and quickly uh the back of the helmet is focusing there if you can see that we've got the uh, normal um british motorcycle sports sticker uh, kind of standard certification and then we've got the um weights here so i think uh, as you can see it's saying 1300 grams plus 50 so i think the plus 50 is with the uh, liner you know the visor pin lock and so on and the accessories uh there's some nice styling as well so we've got this kind of little spoiler area here you can see it's a scorpion exo sort of branded into that it's, it looks really nice again it looks better in the flesh i've also got some branding on the side of the helmet you can see this scorpion um logo there it's kind of lacquered in uh, within the carbon Again, it's very lightweight. In terms of uh, vents, we've got this one at the front. Easy to operate, just one at the front. We've got this one at the top. Uh, you can see that there. Again, dead easy to operate. Just uh, can move it back a couple of stages. And then the visor opening, again, is central, so it's a bit strange, but um, it sounds a bit clunky, but it is actually easy to do. So yeah, it just sounds a bit clunky, but it actually works perfectly fine. And then this on the side, you see this here, is the sun visor. So there you go. So you have to actually push it kind of backwards and upwards uh, to get that. And like I see, it's a little bit stiff and awkward to get to. So although it's got the sun visor, and I guess it's handy, it takes a little bit of getting used to when the helmet is... When you're actually riding the bike to be able to operate that and it i think it could be a bit smoother so not the best but you know at least it's got that as a as a feature but overall it it feels really well made feels really good nice quality everything you know nothing feels loose and it all feels uh really well built and looks great okay so this is the dark race visor that you get included with the helmet Again, a great little bonus. It's pin lock ready, so it's got the uh, fitment option there. If you wanted, I guess, could just buy another pin lock and then you've got one for the standard visor and one for the uh, race visor. Dead easy to swap the visors. Um, like I said, I've done it once or twice, but not had any problems. Uh, similar to the Shoei, really. I'd say both are fairly easy to swap a visor on. There are a couple of differences um, between this and the Shoei. And this... Uh, I guess main difference is with the with regards to the material, the composite, the structure, and also the vent. So on the show, you've got a couple more vent options. So you've got one main one on the top here, uh, like I just showed you. But on this one, the show, you've got these two at the side, and then you've got this central one here. And I would say they're probably a little bit smoother as well. Um, and you've got the bottom one uh, at the front as well. But, you know, it's no big deal. Um, I never felt while I've been riding the Scorpion that it needed more vents. And I've used it in a couple of different weather conditions where it's been quite warm and now where it's getting cooler. Um, but yeah, been perfectly fine. Um, on the Shoei, it, we've got this kind of matte finish. And that was one of the reasons, as, again, while I was looking for another helmet because the chin strap was framed but also this tends to pick up a lot of scratches and marks you might not see it on the video but there's loads of little scratches and so if i was to get another showy again i'd go for a gloss one rather than this matte uh, it just seemed like a good idea at the time but i prefer the carbon look and the gloss on the scorpion and um, so yeah both really good helmets um the showy at the moment in terms of pricing 
This particular one is the NXR. This is the old model, and you can still get this old model on Sports Bike Shop website. That's three hundred and seventy pound. Um, the new one, the NXR two, I think it's called, is four hundred and fifty. Obviously, the Scorpion, like I mentioned, is just under two hundred and fifty pound. Um, and I would say there's not that much in it. I think noise wise, they're about the same. Comfort wise, again, they're fairly similar. I think the air fit makes that stand out a little bit more. You can get it more precise fitting. Um, but yeah, um, obviously a few more vent options on this. The, the weight is fairly similar. I think on the back of the Shoei, if I just have a look, we've got a weight of 1260 helmet alone or 1300 gram with optional parts. So to say that's carbon, there's not much in it. I think the NXR has always been known as being lightweight, but yeah. I would definitely recommend the Scorpion um, if you're looking for a bit of a different helmet with some unique features then go for that one. So hopefully you found the video useful. As always I'm not endorsed or sponsored by Sports Bike Shop, just buy this out of my own money. Um, if you've got any questions ask away in the comments. Uh, if you've got either of these helmets and I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. Um, but hopefully uh, you found the video useful and look out for more videos appearing soon on my channel. Okay guys, thanks again for watching. Cheers, bye bye.